Let me just... Shovelware Brain Game Basically, a game show, but it's chaotic and anything can happen. It's a rather new day game that came in like 2021 and I've been playing it like a few times and I love it because of how freaking funny and chaotic it is. Did we invite you or did you just kind of wander onto the set? Ah! Uh, that's for you to decide, I guess, dude. I don't like that. Okay, well, I gotta turn up my quality. Oh, it's already down. Okay. I have a friend who can't stand spiders. He gets the absolute heebie-jeebies anytime he's around one. <laughs> he can't stand their Oh, I know bodies, this one. Arachnophobia. Legs, I don't have it, but eyes. it's a what pretty common phobia. What is the name phobia. of my friend's phobia? Arachnophobia. Sure, whatever. <laughs> sure, whatever. Also, the animation is pretty smooth. I like this is why I also like the game that not only is like super funny, but the animation is so damn smooth. That sounds means it's your chance to win a bonus prize. Wow, what could it be? It's the Shrunken School from Shovelware's hit title, Shrunken School Lobby. Man, this immaculately this detailed already? drop was used during the real production of the game, which was created no, I, right I don't here have at Shovelware no, Studios I don't have it. Hollywood. Well, ain't that just a fine and dandy prize? Question time. I like to read, but I only read the popular stuff. Like all time popular. In fact, I just read the best selling novel of all time. <laughs> it sold so much. It must be super trendy and uber popular. What? <laughs> um, what was the name of it again? I don't know this one. The Little Prince, the Hob. I think it was the Hobbit. I don't know. Of all, I'm just, I just like a random guess. This watch really like jinx this. Wrong Amondo. Oh. No, it's not the no. What? I never heard this novel before. <laughs> Poor everyone got it wrong. This is how we did it back in my day. Hey, what's the big idea? Oh, I know this one. I've failed like several times on it. Get ready for some Donkey Kong boys. I'm using the music because copyright. I have died several times, so also. Oh Christ. Ah, oh, oh, frick. Feel free to take your time then. Heal. Well, oh, frick. Okay, well. That too. Okay. That was my second attempt. Uh. Who else is? I'm out of here. That's a Sonic reference. When Sonic goes like, I'm out of here, he jumps. I'm out of here. Please no math zone. Talking about states. Oh Christ. I'm here to state that we're talking about states. What? Do I want to go to Friendly Burger? Sure. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> Bismarck is the capital city of the U.S. state of North Dakota. But which of the following is the most populous city in the state? Bismarck. <laughs> Bruh, I don't know this one. Survey says, that's not right. No, I didn't get that right. Fargia. I I wouldn't know that one. Memorable events was the word to pals. Memorable events. <laughs> Here's a question about an event that be called memorable or something. I don't know, frickin' now. In what year did Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, I had this question before. Famous, I have a dream speech. Uh Okay, I got this question. Was it 1963? I I got this question before, so
Yeah. Yeah, it was 1963. Yeah. I got that wrong first try. Have you ever heard someone use the phrase al dente when talking about pasta or rice? In Italian, the phrase means to the tooth. Wait. But what does that exactly I got, mean? I got this question before. Exactly. Wait. Oh, I don't know this. No, I, I got this question before. I got the, I screwed up on it. Uh... Okay. No, I don't. Uh... Yeah, 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 that's correct. Science rules. Oh, man. <laughs> Bonus prize sign, what will it be? This glossy 8x10 headshot of Bordy the Smart Boy. Okay, I don't Not have that, that one. But it's signed by Bordy himself, one of Canada's most famous and recognizable celebrities. Known for his work portraying the iconic mascot <laughs> character Bordy the Smart Board at various trade shows and other Bordy has been voted Tech Magazine's smartest wow, I love board the <laughs> for three consecutive years in a row. Perfect for the ultimate Bordy fan or any opportunistic internet resellers. Bruh. <laughs> What an odd prize for the out of your collection. Let's see. I'm on the roller coaster here. Oh, I got this question. Hollywood. As we go uphill, we're it's building kinetic a energy. bunch of potential energy. Oh, it's so high. What type of energy is that converted to as we start to roll down here? It was kinetic energy. Oh. Rip. I got it! Okay. We've reached the end of the round, so it's time to bring out the winner! <laughs> but before that, since player retention and playtime also are so valuable, we'll be showing the phrase the winner will be receiving. Wow, I wonder what it could be! Something really... Five, Stop. six, seven, eight fantastic sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight awesome angles. This arc oh, eye-catching no. sign is perfect for sprucing up your name. I love this. Oh man! Oh, that sounded bad. Um, if oh, I'm ask, lagging behind because freaking over we took from the nearest four-way intersection. What a great prize! Will it be yours? Let's bring out this round's winner. You're this episode's grand champion! Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see you all next time for another brain tingling Let's episode. Let's see if of he Shovel falls. Because there's like a round, there's a chance that he'll like, like, um, fall and stuff. Brain oh no, he doesn't fall. Okay, he's just like, Studios. uh. That's us. Because when you hear shovelware, you think quality. Yeah, no, he, he's, just, he's just going back on way. Uh,. Yeah, there's a chance that he'll like trip and fall, or, like do something, spaz out. Now it's like that'd be super funny. It's time for another exciting episode of the world's only game show, Shovelware's only Brain game, game Show. Oh my god! Without further ado, he's the CEO and founder of Shovelware Studios, and he's also your host. It's oh, he doesn't trip. Ball. Yeah, there's also like a chance that he'll trip. That's right, I'm back and doing what I'm best known for, hosting a vaguely educational game show. Wow. Welcome to the game. Hey, do I hear you from somewhere? Bruh. Regardless, it's your turn to pick a category. Zoo pals. Okay, I... I... There's your pal and mine, let's talk about animals. Wow, it's really pouring outside. It's raining cats and, uh, and, uh, oh, something. Uh, what other animal is part of that expression again? Dogs! It's raining cats and dogs! Wow, that's the most difficult question ever! Sure, whatever! The points are raining down like cats and dogs! Thanks for showing up! Go ahead, pick a category, the first one's free! Science rules! You pick science rules, let's lay down some laws! Christ! Crustify me, Commander. <laughs> Wait, do I have this? Box of delicious Commander crust cereal with delicious sweetened corn flavor. Oh, oh no, I don't have this one. Uh, no. Maybe 
bills or something. This cereal is part of a precariously balanced Totally not a rip-off of Captain Crunch. What an odd phrase, but I think collection, let's see. What is the scientific study of the atmosphere? I want to get into oh, it, so maybe me. I can I do something one. about this pesky, rainy weather. <laughs> Anthropology, no. Uh, Asmophology, Meteorology, Astro- I think it's this one. <laughs> I don't- I'm not a science major, okay? You said it, not- Oh. What? Meteorology? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that, that makes a lot of sense. Which US president is known for saying the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I don't know this one. Fear the Roosevelt, George Washington, Ronald. No, I don't know this one. Uh, I'm gonna. That's right. No, I think no. <laughs> Who? Franklin the Roosevelt. Yeah, no, I would never get that. Say, that's a pretty nice point you got that. Thanks. Wait, the a category? Eyes on the prize, memorable events. Why the frick not? The Your cherished this category. <laughs> Isn't that the bonus phrase chime? Downright your nephew. New from Lazy, it's the do-it-yourself obby kit with over one variety of rectangular obstacles that may I'm, or may not be supposed to is be. Is it bad I'm cringing at this because I have uh, yeah, like really bad flashbacks like back the in the day when obbies were like huge. Thing. Now they're not a big Speaking thing of which, anymore. You should play my obby sometime. I worked really hard on it, you know. Wait, does Shepherd have an obby? I think they do. What is the name of the neighbor I'm hoping to shut up by showing off my very expensive grill from Dinkman? What? What is the name of the nuts? Uh... Oh, frick it, I don't know. I'm not gonna get this right. What? <laughs> I got it right! That was a wild guess! Have you heard? Doug, stop running hot water. Fancy. I, I got the thing. Okay. Well, thanks, I guess. What's the word? I just got word that someone picked was so I get the guy. Sorry, but have you seen what they're doing with AI these days? Oh, they're using it to replicate speech, trying to make it sound like real people. Do you realize what this means? I'm gonna be out of a job! I can't keep up with AI is taking over the world seriously. Like, every time I go on Twitter, like, like, like a company on AI, I've I get, like, so ticked off. Like, I know AI is going to be, like, pretty controversial, line but... After line without time to stop and rest your voice? Those robot voices don't need that. They can just keep on going and going and going. Oh, you can't see it, but I'm waving my hands around wildly to make my points as I describe this nightmare scenario. What word best describes what I'm doing? Um, I got this question from Genesis Articulate Compass. What's articulate? Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, rip all of us. Just, mm, yeah, I got, I, I didn't get that. No, I got this question before I got it wrong. If you went to the moon and took a bite, what flavor of cheese <laughs> did you taste? You believe in the kind of pizza? It's not. <laughs> oh, no, that's the first, not said non, so whatever it is. That's you post just posted cringe. Literally me back in 2012. Hey ya uh, folks. I know you got a thing going on here, but if I could just make an announcement real quick, that'd be just well. We got a dangerous one the criminal on the loose. Have you seen this man? Wow, that's crazy. No, I think I remember seeing someone that handsome. Alright then, sorry to take up your time. Please resume. Math zone. Oh! Do I have to whip out the calculator for this? 
You know, I was just reminded of the time I was shooting a commercial for Shovelware Studios outside of a paint store, and the paint cans blew up, sending me flying half a mile into a garbage truck. Roughly how far did I fly in kilometers? What? Wait, what is... Oh! Frick! No, I don't know this one. See, I would have, like, Googled this. No, oh, no, I don't think all of us could. No, I. It is four times seven. Wow! I wonder what it could be. Zero? Really top notch. Wow! I wonder how all of us got that right. We definitely did not use a calculator. Go ahead, use your device's input method to choose a category. It's easy. Memorable event. That's the one I could pick because I really don't. Nothing about geography, nor it. Shovelware Studios. I've traveled back in time. I'm here aboard the RMS Titanic, and the date is April 15th, 1912. Oh, I got this the question Titanic before. Titanic is about to hit an iceberg and sink into the ocean. But which ocean is it? Gee, everyone's so lively. Was it Atlantic Ocean? I got, I said Pacific Ocean, and I got it wrong. Oh, please get it right. Correct. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I got this question wrong twice. That's why. The Titanic's maiden voyage was meant to go from England to New York, which puts it in the North Atlantic Ocean. I've never watched Titanic before. Hey, so shoelaces, right? What are those little tips on the ends called again? Wait, that's a thing? No, that's no, that's a symbol. I, I'm not gonna get this right. No, I don't know. I've never heard this one before. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so sad. He just got burnt. Please, artistic intelligence. Please, this one, please, this one, please. Artistic yes, segment. thank you. Oh my god. I better get a good one on this. I better redeem myself because sometimes I get I screw this one up. The Japanese art of paper folding is popular wow. in the world. Wow! I wonder paper what cranes, that is! Paper planes, paper unicorns, you name it. Naturally, being from Japan, this art form has a Japanese Wow, name. I've never what heard of this before. It? What is it? God, I don't know. Is it... Is it Chiyo? This game is all I The word origami comes from Japanese word for foil and paper kami. So imagine you're in a clothing store. You overhear a conversation between. I've never got this question. Oh before. yeah, I'm totally into beanies right now. Beanies, huh? No, I'm more into deer stalkers. Oh, I, I mean, got this question. Like, okay, yeah. Deer yeah. stalkers. What is this? The 1800s? No, if you're gonna pick a weird one, it's gotta be fezes. What type of clothing are those two weirdos? I mean, people talking about. What a beanie still sucks at the vessels talking about. I'm sorry, but that's absolutely correct! Earth. It's a planet. But there's more of them out there, you know. Just how many planets are there in our solar system? What? But not County Pluto, because that's a dwarf planet. Sure, whatever. Yep. It's it's eight actually. It's a, yep yep I was yep it, that that's true. The round has come to an end, and so it's time to announce the winner. But first, let's see the grand prize we'll be awarding this time. A box. <gasps> uh, <gasps> Twenty. <gasps> Harmonicas! That's... <gasps> My man's dying! And Somebody help him! As two boxes... <gasps> of ten harmonicas! <sighs> and that's wonderful! <sighs> Alright, let's see who the winner of the round is and that wonderful prize! You did it! You've got the biggest breed of all!
Bruh! Eva! Oh! Yeah, I was gonna say, that was the chance of him falling. Thank you for being here, ladies and gents. We got a wonderful show for you tonight. As long as nothing blows up on us. 37 minus 12. Um, 25. I got this question before. I had to do the mental math on my head once. Good! I'll let you... What is that supposed to be? Hey, you come here often? What category are you ordering? Zoo pals. No animals were harmed in the making of this category. Taxonomy. It's how various living organisms are classified. You've got kingdom, phylum, class, order, what? family, genus, and species. I got this question before. The further down the list you go, the more specific definition you have of any creature. Under what family would you find dogs? I personally classify dogs under Q. Big mood, honestly. Yo, what's up? I'm the oldest of the dancing bananas with you. I work for cameras. That's over there. It's my younger brother. I pulled the curtain. The one with the clipboard approached me angry as my older brother, Peel. Get back to the show. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, that's the end of my insane scoop. Back to you, Uncle Boss Man. I've learned recently about the hypothetical eventual heat death of the universe. And I'm really freaking out here, man. How long do we have? A year? A week? A day? You gotta tell me so I can stop freaking out! Bruh. Sure! Whatever! <laughs> Oh, okay then. What is the term used to describe a medical treatment or substance with no actual therapeutic Oh, I got value? this question before. Uh, I think it was placebo. Wow, that's a wish girl. Yep, that, that's the one. Yeah, I, I got that. Yeah, I got this question before, that's why. Wow, that's a rich guy in our server. I wonder who could it be? Literally just me looking around. The word fusion has many meanings, usually involving oh, I got this before. two or more things. I think I messed Which this one up. Which is not an example of the term fusion. Math function, a type of... I think this was the one. Yep. Yep, that's the one. I uh, I think I I don't remember what the answer was, but I thought that was a math function afterwards. To be or not to be, that is not the question. The question is, who wrote the famous play Hamlet? William Shakespeare. That's the only one answer that you can find in here. Correct. I mean, it's a famous old play. Who else would have written it? God knows, I don't know. Want to see what I can do with this? Yeah, throw it. Sure, go for it. <laughs> yeah, it's the best one. Oh, it looks like you're just doing directly, but you missed. Any closer than I would have been a banana kebab. So cool! Uh. Sh Eyes on the prizes. Have you been reading our flavor text? It's time for some questions about the prizes. Yep. Uh, it's a bonus prize, I think. Uh, I love the jingles. It's time for a bonus prize. A dancing <laughs> dog! Hey, guy, get out of there. We're trying to do a show here. Wait, what? That's the prize? We're giving away a dancing hot dog? Guess so. That's a guy. That's just a man. An alive being. No, no, this can't be right. You there, banana nephew character, pull that rope again. Close the curtain and open it again. There's gotta be a real prize behind there. It's not even the same art style. That's a character. He should be sitting in the audience right now. Do it. Pull the rope again. Okay. Okay, now pull it open again. No, that's the, the same dancing hot dog again. What are you still doing here? 
Oh, I'm lagging. Okay, yeah. Is this um, some kind of prank? <laughs> is this some kind of reference I'm not getting or something? Do it again. Pull the rope again. This never happens with any of our other prizes, right? You just pull it open and it's there. It's like a normal game show prize. Like, some of them are funny or a little weird, but they're not a real three-dimensional person. Bruh. Well, ain't that just a fine? <laughs> wow, that was a little anticlimactic. How many vitamins and minerals do the caveman vitamins contain? Bruh, was it seven? I got it wrong last time. <laughs> a novelty soda drinking <laughs> hat. With this on your head, you won't have to worry about using your arms in relation to drinking your soda. Until you run out of soda. I definitely you need that. Remove and replace the soda cans on the sides. Actually, if you could do that without using your arms, that'd be pretty impressive. Ooh, I want to see that now. What a great price. Will it be yours? God, I don't know. Let's bring out this round's winner. You're this episode's wow. champion. Man. For another exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game, stay tuned. We'll be right back after Oh, no, I'm, I'm lagging. Oh, poor me, I'm lagging, I think. Oh, wait, yeah. This episode is sponsored oh, what the frick? Is that... Arkinian's home appliances. Order before yeah. dinner and they'll oh. in the morning. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro! Oh my god, that's a good way to end this video off. Okay. I'm gonna end the video off here. You all should play this game. If you don't play this game, then well, I don't know. Actually, yeah, it's up to you. Okay, bye.